this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video I'm going to be joined not by one for a change, but by two people. I'm going to be joined by... who's going to come in first? I'm going to be joined by... don't be scared, I can see you both, there we go, in at the same time. I'm going to be joined by Lee Bear. And squishy quack! Let's all run in a circle. Everyone follow me. Everyone follow me. We've got to keep running in a circle. Go, 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 go. In one door and out the other door. Go, 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 go. In one door and out the other door. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. You're in the way, Lee. Come on, go, go, go. Squishy quack's doing it. Oh, no, struggling with the door a bit there. Lee's running in a circle around here. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, dear, I'm too hungry. I'm too hungry. I can't even sprint. <laughs> I need some food. I'm getting tired out just watching you two, actually. I need to have my breakfast. And what shall I have for breakfast? Not seeds! Not seeds! Seeds might be okay for a duck to eat for breakfast, but cats don't eat seeds for breakfast. They eat... Lee? Lee, what do they- she's still running- Lee! Lee! <laughs> Lee, we can stop now! We can stop now! This is only the beginning of the video! We're gonna tire ourselves out! I'm already tired out! Can we all just- let's go, let's all go to the kitchen, let's sit down for a bit. Oh dear, let, let, let's have some breakfast, shall we? Should we have a civilised morning? Here we go, let's go through the living room. And then let's go into the kitchen through here. And let's sit down. Oh look, there's his, his last night's dinner. A bit of leftovers already sitting here. Nom 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 nom. Oh that's good, I need more. I need more, Lee. Lee, have you got cake? Nom 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 nom. Ah oh dear, okay, I'm okay now. Look, you can have your seeds, and Lee, you can have a carrot down there, and you can have an egg as well. There we go. You can have, there we go, and have a, a carrot omelette for breakfast. That would be lovely. Whew. Whew, I'm tired out already. I need to sit down on the sofa and have a little bit of a rest. <laughs> oh, I, actually have an, I have actually have an idea for a game. Seeing as we're no longer uh, doing the shoot the arrow at the minecart game, let's have a game of tag, okay? And we're going to have a quick game. I'm going to be up and it's going to be the first person out of you two I tag losers. Okay, so you've got to start off in the living room. No running away yet. I'm going to count to five and then go. And you're not allowed to heave, uh, leave the house, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Go, 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 go. First person that I tag is going to lose. You're not allowed to leave the house. Who am I going to get first? I don't know where squashy has gone, but I can see Lee on my radar. He looks like he's running upstairs. Oh, he's not going to go the whole way up the tower, is he? I don't know if I can be bothered to go up the tower. He's going up the tower. Right, I'm going to change my target then. I'm going to go for Squacy. Where did Squacy go? Did she go anywhere? Is she still hiding in the living room? Maybe, maybe she's trying to be stealthy. Aha! Tag, you're it, Squishy! <laughs> oh, I should have guessed. Squishy's always the hider. I guess instead of running, she would hide. Lee's the runner, and Squishy's the hider. Anyway, oh, we don't have time to play tag in the house all day, because we do have a very busy video today. Uh, we've got lots of things to build and play. We've got a brand new minigame, uh, which I'm going to be showing you later. But first, as always, I'm going to add someone to my love garden. And my love garden is a very happy place. I have full of very happy people uh, that I've wanted to say thank you to for some reason. And uh, today, I'm saying, uh, today I'm saying thank you uh, to Melbeck. And that's because Melbeck actually sent me a really funny riddle uh, in a comment. And uh, this is what it said. It said, I have a riddle, Stampy. There were two cats, one named 123 and the other was named Under Toi. Now they both wanted to cross the river. Who got to the other side first? The answer is 123 cat. Because un, deux, toi, cat, sank. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. <laughs> so sorry if I spelt my French wrong. That's good though, because un, deux, toi, cat, sank uh, is uh, in French one, two, three, four, five. And I thought that was hilarious. I wanted to say thank you for sending me the joke and the riddle, Melbeck. <laughs> and welcome to my love garden. Anyway, Minecraft helpers, everybody follow me to the police station. I'm of course, uh, going to stop off at the, uh, the dog house on my way and uh, pick a dog to join me, and then we're going to go and very quickly uh, finish off the uh, Popo Playful Police Station, and uh, then we're going to go and play a new game which is called Behind Bars, and it's, uh, it's quite a big game actually, and it uh, should be jolly good fun, and we're going to be doing that while joined by a little, little Sherbet, I think, today, and uh, Sherbet is down here, you can come and join us, and uh, let's go and head over to the police station, and uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, we pretty much, uh, despite being distracted by the cake thief, Esther's back by the way, if you didn't notice, uh, Esther my chicken uh, who stole the cakes is actually back on my balcony and we've ret uh, retrieved uh, all of the uh, the cakes. Uh, but yeah, uh, we pretty much, despite the distractions, uh, managed to get the uh, the uh, playful popo station uh, completely finished. Uh, I redesigned the reception a little bit, uh, so now you can actually get into it, which is a good advantage. 
the uh, interrogation room. Uh, I made the light a little bit higher. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh no, Sherbet. Oh, Sherbet not friendly with Squishy Quack. Maybe I should uh, shut this flap and then Sherbet might behave. Are you gonna behave? No, nope, that's not happening. Run, Squishy. Squishy, run. Run, Squishy. Run, Squishy. Run, run, run. Okay, Sherbet, tell you what. Seeing as you're misbehaving, you have to stay behind here and you have to be the uh, the receptionist for the entire video, seeing as you're not being friendly to our friends. <laughs> oh, dear, I think he had the taste for duck. Anyway, here's the interrogation room. We move the light up a little bit. And in here, this is the just-in-case room, uh, which is where, like, our office. And you can see here's Lee's desk down here. And my desk is down here. These are our computers. And these are all of our current cases. And so these are all of the things that we need to try and solve, okay, Lee? Uh, there's the cake thief. And uh, we've already solved that one. Uh, there's also someone who's been littering crafting tables all around the area. And I have no idea who could have been doing that. But we need to get to the bottom of it, okay, Lee? We need to try and track it down. There's also the mad melon masher. Someone's been going around mashing all of the melons. And we need to find out who's doing that. Also, we need to track down hit the target. And uh, we also need to find out why my lunar friends are involved. Uh, there's also the nighttime snorer. Someone keeps snoring all through the night and keeping me up, and I have no idea who it is, Lee. We need to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> also, uh, at the end here, we need we have the uh, the door lever opener. Someone keeps leaving open all of the doors around my house, and we need to find out who's been doing that. <laughs> there we go, Lee. <laughs> there we go. All good. Anyway. The final few additions, uh, we need to finish off the uh, the playrooms in here and uh, make them look uh, a little bit prettier. Uh, if I if I leave you uh, you guys to do that, I'm going to go and do one very quick bit of redstone. If I throw you down some, uh, here's some more colourful wool uh, down in here. And so you can use these to decorate the floor. And then we can also, in one of them, uh, we can have a sand pit for them to play with. And in the other one, we can have a little pit of water. And uh, we can do that in the other side. And also do some chests full of uh, a whole load of games. And while you go, uh, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to do uh, some dispensers that are going to dispense food. Uh, so if I go and do uh, some holes, if I do one hole uh, up there, and I do one hole on the other side, I'm going to go into the attic and do some, uh, put some dispensers up there. And let me make sure I do it the same. So it needs to be. Uh, actually, I think I do it. I do it there. I think the other hole will be. And so make sure underneath here, uh, I'm going to do a cauldron. And uh, then that's where the, the food's going to drop down. So uh, I'm going to have some buttons in here. I'm going to have one button there and one button, I think, in the corner there. And so when you press some buttons, uh, it's going to drop down some food. So that's where the holes are going to be. And uh, let me just try and dig my way into the into the attic. I might make like a, a ladder for now, uh, just so I can easily get in and out. And is there a crafting table around here? I don't want to be accused of being the person leaving the crafting tables all over the place. <laughs> Even though I think we all know it is me. All right, let's just do a crafting table here for now. And uh, let me go and make a, a few ladders uh, so I can get up. And it's going to be, honestly, very, very simple redstone. Uh, just a straight uh, trail of redstone from the buttons uh, leading to the dispensers. And then we're going to go and fill the dispensers up with all sorts of food. So let me hop up here into the attic. And I should see where my holes were. Here we go. I got one hole here and one hole here. Actually, I'm going to move the holes a little bit. Otherwise, I think they might drop into the, uh, the sand pit and the water pits. So let's do uh, one holes here. And then let's go and do the other hole. Um... Oh! Hi, Lee! <laughs> if you do the, uh, the water pit, Lee, on this side, uh, because then I need to have the, um, I need to have the, uh, the food dropping through on that side, I think, uh, because, um, yeah, I can't fit it in otherwise because the roof goes too thin there. So, uh, let me go and grab my dispensers and see if I can place these down the, the right way. So, I'm gonna do, uh, one there. And then the other one there. And I promise you this is going to be so, so easy. It's just one trail of redstone uh, leading to here. And then the other one leading to the other side. And that is pretty much all it is. And then all I need to do is go and add down my buttons. And then we've got some automatic uh, food dispensing. And then once they're finished uh, decorating the playrooms, uh, this place is going to be 100% uh, percent, uh, done. Which is always very exciting. I just need to add some buttons. Let me just steal uh, these, um, these what were supposed to be handles to drawers. Let me steal these for now. And I can go and plonk these down. Uh, as the buttons and so I need to have one uh, there and one there and then all I need to do is go and link up the redstone so if I just do it uh, down a little bit so the redstone goes to there and then the redstone on this side 
uh, should go to here. Uh, that should be it hopefully done. Now let me just put anything in the dispensers. Let me just put uh, a little bit of dirt in this one and then a little bit of a uh, red. Actually I might as well just go and put the food in now actually. I don't have uh, too much food on me. Uh, if anyone's got any food on them and uh, they want to come upstairs and just put some some food in the uh, the dispensers and then that way we can have some, some food coming down. I don't really have too much on me to be honest. I only really uh, packed a pack lunch for one to be honest. <laughs> so let me go and put uh, a whole bunch of carrots in there as well and uh, let me go and test it shall we if i stand here i press that button there and then uh that button there and uh, there we go i can see the food dropping out one got a little bit stuck though uh, but if i do uh, some blocks like this and then do some uh, like that as well and then the food dro uh, should drop uh, straight down so all i need to do is go and fill in the the mess i made if i go and fill all of this in and I'll fill that in there. And then, oh, looks like I've run out of blue wool. I could probably steal some from somewhere around here. I'll just leave it as a gap for now in case I do need to, to go back upstairs. Uh, but these should work now. Uh, these should uh, these should dispense down food. And oh, no! No, someone's been leaving crafting tables all over the place. At least the doors are all shut, apart from these ones. <laughs> at least the uh, at least the doors are all shut. And there we go. You can see the, the food dropping down there. So uh, I need to, if I can, get some more blue wool to fill in the gap there. Uh, but apart from that... Uh, I think this place is almost done. Let me just go and press the buttons again and drop down a little bit more food. And uh, it should hopefully uh, go and drop down into here. There we go. We can see a carrot drop down here. All right, let me use one of these crafting tables and uh, actually make uh, a few cauldrons. And where do we... I think cauldrons are over here. And these can be like their... Kind of like their food troughs, I kind of guess. <laughs> Which is where they can eat their eat their food out of. So let me go and plonk them down there. And here we go. Looks like some of the uh, the blue walls filled up. And if any of you want to jump up, and uh, you can just click on the dispensers. I don't know if you've got any spare food on you, Lee. But you can go and uh, put some more in there so we won't run out of food. And then, yeah, this place is uh, pretty much done. I like how colourful the floor is. This looks pretty awesome. So this one's got a sand pit in. And a look, look at all these fun things to play. We can play with string. There's some raw fish there. We can have a water fight, have a play fight with some fake swords, tickle each other. There's all sorts of fun things they can do there because <laughs> they do have to play forever while they're in here. That is the that is the uh, the thing they have to do. And so, of course, the final thing uh, is to add in the doors. And I actually put the uh, the doors in here for now. And here we go. Here's a bit more food that I could steal. Let me just steal a bit of this. And so, yeah, I can put the uh, the doors in, which is the, the final thing to do. So let me put one door down there. And uh, let me go and first go and put some uh, food up inside here. I go put those spare apples in there. And then let's go and put one door on here. And uh oh sorry lee sorry lee did i a little bit trap you in i'm sorry well that is for snoring all night that's what that's for only joking you can come out lee you can come out uh, because we're about to go and play my brand new games if everyone follows me uh, the game is behind here and it's a it's a pretty big game to be honest uh, we should probably all go to sleep because it is night time and there might be some some googlies around so there's a few beds down here and then i'm going to go and explain what the game is it's going to be a uh, a prison related game it's going to be uh, called behind bars and the idea is there's going to be one robber and uh, two coppers and the robber needs to get to the bank to steal a diamond uh, while the coppers need to stop them. And I think the easiest way to show you uh, would be to end a pearl on the top of one of these buildings, right? Hopefully I'm going to land on top of the Beat the Heat fire station. Look at that. Perfect. So here we go. You can see that I've built one big maze here that my Minecraft helpers are running through. And so the, um, the robber needs to run his whole way through here. Run his whole way through here, through here, through here, through here. Run his whole way through all of the maze, just like they're doing. Not jumping over it, though, Lee. <laughs> and then they end up, see if I can jump up. There we go, I managed to get in. Then they steal the diamond. Then they need to go and run the whole way back. And then it's basically how quickly uh, can they do that? Uh, because when they start, uh, they pull a lever here, which will make uh, golden nuggets fire out of the dispenser. And so it's basically the least nuggets that have come out, uh, the better. But... But there's going to be two coppers that are going to be trying to defend the diamond. And the way we're going to be doing that is actually by using iron bars. You can see in this chest here, uh, there's a few iron bars and uh, diamond pickaxes. And so basically, so say, Lee, if you were running at me, if you were trying to go and steal the diamond, I would go and I'd place down a bar like that to try and stop you and get you stuck behind bars. So I'm trying to slow you down. But even better than that, if, uh, oh no, it looks like I made a mess. Yeah, even better than that, if Squishy uh, then went behind and did some more bars, uh, then she would completely lock him in, which means it's his go over completely. And sorry, Squishy, didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> right, so th does this game make sense? So we're basically trying to slow them down with our iron bars. And let me just go and uh, fill those uh, messes in there for now. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Right, let's go then. And so, um, Lee, do you want to go first? Uh, so Squishy, if you come and join me. 
Uh, if we go completely to the other end of the game, make sure you've got uh, one uh, iron bars on you and uh, one diamond pickaxe. And we need to try and slow down Lee as uh, so he's not going to be able to get uh, any uh, of the uh, the golden nuggets is the uh, is the uh, the plan. Okay, let's do it. I've got my iron bars and my pickaxe here. Are you ready to go, Squashy? Are you raring? We've got to defend the diamond. Okay, you take the left side, Squashy. I'll take the right side and let's stop him from getting it. Let's trap him behind bars. Okay, Lee, you can begin in three... Two, one, go, 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 go. Right, let's go as quick as we can. Try and meet him before he gets too far. We need to try and find a good place to go and try and trap him in. Let's wait around here. Okay, get the left. So place the place one down on the left. Squishy, place one. Have you got him trapped? Have you got him trapped? I think she did. I think she managed to get him. Is he coming across this way? Which side's he going? Oh, he's coming this way again. Oh, he's going back the other way. Looks like I made another break in the hedge. Oh, no, he's gone to the far right. I'm sorry, Squishy. Oh, no, he's going through the middle. He's going through the middle. Oh, no, he got through the right. Sorry, I should have been watching that area. Right, I'm tracking him down now. We can try and get him on the way back there. Right, let's wait on this big stretch here of straight ones and see which one he goes down and see if we can stop him. Or is he going to go down? No, he's going down the middle. There we go. I managed to trap him, Squishy. I managed to trap him. Uh, he's going around to the right. He's going, no, he's going left. He's going left. Oh, he's going back the same way. Oh, no, I got rid of the bars and he came back the same way. I'm still ahead of him, though. I've still got another chance of being able to trap him. Is he following behind me? I think he might be. Let me go and try and place one there. Have I trapped him? Oh, no, he went around the other way. He went way around the way I didn't guess. <laughs> he's now going to go and make it. And he's got to the end and he's pressed it. And there we go. So if you throw down all of your nuggets to me, Lee, and uh, we see how many you got. Okay, he got uh, six. So Lee had uh, six nuggets. And so we need to try and do it in less than six nuggets. So Squishy, uh, if you stay here, it can be your go next. And uh, I'm going to go back with Lee. And uh, we're going to go and be the guards again. Let me go and try and fill in some of the places that I broke. I got a bit uh, crazy there spinning with my pickaxe, to be honest. And I made <laughs> a few holes in the hedges. No jumping on top of the hedges, though. That is going to be cheating. All right, let me go and try and make my way back to the start here. And here we go. Got a bit of a, a wonky diamond, but that doesn't matter too much. And uh, there we go. Oh, no, Lee. Oh, Lee's making a mess. <laughs> right, you, you can't jump on the hedges, Lee. You can't jump on the hedges. I think he there might be just going back to... um. Uh, yeah, to try and get a uh, squashy store started. So don't forget, uh, when you start squashy, uh, you need to, to pull the lever. And then you've got to pull it again when you get back. And you've got to try and get it uh, in less than six gold nuggets. Okay, looks like Lee's ready to join me. So we will begin round two in three... Two, one, go, 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 go. Okay, let's try and do it the same again then, Lee. So if you watch the left, I'm going to be trying to watch the right side as much as possible. And where's Squishy going to? I'm watching her. I think she's coming my side, maybe? I don't know where she's going. I think she's coming to the right. Oh, no, she's gone down the middle. She's gone right down the middle. She went right past post of us. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. She's not got to the diamond yet, though. We still might be able to stop her. Okay, let's try and trap her right over here. She's right at the very front near the diamond. Okay, I'm trying to watch which way she's going to go. She's going down the middle. Oh, no. Oh, no. She got right past the bars. I should have been able to stop it there. She just got past just a second before me. I'm still chasing after her, though. I might be able to stop her. There we go. I managed to stop her, though, Lee. I managed to stop her. Okay, keep watching which way she's going to go. She's going around the other side. Oh, no. I missed the bars. I didn't pick the bars up. Is she going to get past? Oh, she oh, she just managed to get past that. I managed to slow her down a little bit more, though. She's getting to the end. Okay, Lee's there ready to stop her. See if we can trap her behind bars. We try and trap her one on each side if we can, Lee. We might be able to get her trapped. Oh, no. She managed to get past. <laughs> and there we go. She got to the end. I think we slowed her down quite well then. So throw down all of your golden nuggets and see how many you got. So she got one? Just one? Was that... Oh, did you pick up some as well there, Lee? Did you pick up some of the, the gold nuggets as well? Um. Oh, there, here we go. There, there's more down there. Okay. Uh, do, you want, do you want to throw them all down, Squishy? I know you were quick, but I don't think you were quite that quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many is this? Five. Five. That was slightly better than Lee you did there. Slightly better than Lee. So it looks like five is the score to beat. Well done there, Squashy. Well done. So if you guys, uh, make sure you got the diamond and head back to the start. Uh, you need a uh, some... Don't make sure you got iron bars on you as well, Squishy. Uh, just one uh, pair of iron bars. And now it's my go. So that's going to be a very tough score to beat, to be honest. <laughs> I thought I actually thought Squishy was a little bit slower, but uh, I guess she did quite well. So it looks like uh, they're making their way back to the bank. And I don't really have a... I don't really have a plan of how to do this. I'm just going to try and... I'm going to try going one way, then maybe weave back the other way and just try and be as sneaky of a robber as I can. Anyway, it looks like they're in position. So I'm going to begin my go in three... 
two, one, go, 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 go. Right, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I want to try and get past them as quick as I can and not give them a chance to try and trap me if I can. Ooh, let's go around to this side. Oh, I managed to whiz past. There we go. I managed to get past them on the first go. I'm going really fast here and I've grabbed the diamond. Let's try and run away that they're not going. I think Lee can tell which way I'm going. I'm going to stick along the right side here and then I'm going to switch across and try and go to the middle. Oh, I got stopped there. I got stopped by some iron bars. Lee is desperately trying to run ahead of me. I need to run a different route than him. Otherwise, he's going to trap me in. I'm doing super fast here and I'm going around the outside. And oh no, oh no, right at the very last minute. At the very last minute, he managed to trap me. This isn't good. There we go. I managed to get past this time though. <laughs> he slowed me down a little bit and I did it in four. There was only four of them. I did it in only four. Okay, I picked up another one there, but that was afterwards. <laughs> I, did, I think technically I did it in five because I got so excited. I forgot to pull the lever. <laughs> So, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just say it was a draw then between me and Squishy because I was a silly kitty cat and didn't remember to pull the lever. Anyway, <laughs> that is the behind bars game. That is so much fun. Unfortunately, none of us actually trapped the other person behind bars uh, because if you do that, then they have just lost outright. Now, it has happened before when we were playing before the video and it is jolly good fun. And normally... With these games, I play them once and then destroy them. I might actually leave this here for a little bit until I need to destroy it to make room. I might actually leave this game here for a little bit. And who knows, maybe uh, in a future video, if you want to see it, uh, we might go and play this game again because I think that was jolly good fun. Uh, anyway, I want to say a very big thank you to both my Minecraft helpers for helping as they always do and uh, as well as playing with me in this game. I want to thank all of you at home for watching the video and I will see you all later. Bye!